Hi again. I'm going to talk about putting in toe stops. It seems like the easiest thing, but um, sometimes you actually need to prepare your toe stops because um, there are certain brands out there, and I'll say like Heart Stoppers. I love Grindstone Society's Heart Stoppers. They're adorable. These both have bare metal. And the biggest problem is people will get these caught or stuck in their plates and cross-threaded. So some companies will prepare their toe stops. They come with Antices grease on them already. So I have Kaya Cherry Bombs, which I really like these. Um, this is whatever Bont puts on theirs. And this is a Bionic, which is a very tiny Bionic. But um, as you can see, this one doesn't look like it has any grease that was put on it. This one has discolored, so it looks like they had put grease on it. I'm doing like that cosmetic thing where people are like doing their makeup. They're like, oh, um, this looks like it has had a little bit of it on there, but this may have come from another plate. If you buy something like um, the gumballs and the super balls, they come with a little sleeve on the stem. And when you take that sleeve off, it's protecting um, the anti seize grease that comes on the toe stops. So um, if you do get a toe stop that is stuck in a plate, um, what it has done is usually it's cross-threaded inside of here. So you can see there's threading inside of there. And the um, cross-threading can happen with any kind of nuts and bolts. But it sucks when it's inside of your plate because you pretty much screwed up the threading in there. So um, what I, I'm lucky to have a husband that has a garage full of tools. When my toe stop got cross-threaded and stuck in one of my old plates, he had to take one of his um, pipe wrenches and I told him, you can ruin the toe stop. Like, just destroy the toe stop. Just get it out without trying to destroy the plate because you can't um, replace just the toe stop um, thread on a metal plate. You can replace the toe stop thread insert in like th thrust plates. So this is easy, you just pop this out and they sell replacements. Ta-da! Um, that's why if you ever get skates that come with a thrust plate with a fixed toe stop, which is this type that is unadjustable, this is an unadjustable bolt-on, there's a different insert. So Rydell sells a different type of insert. I can't find mine right now, I had another set. Um, also, if you have some beginner skates and they come with a thrust plate or your lolly, um, if you find that you can no longer tighten this, you can buy these separately to replace and you just sit it in there. I found that you can just remove the, uh, the nuts at the toe and then kind of like, you know, pull. These things are so flexible, you can basically pull them off the skate as long as you're not pulling it out of the boot. You just pull it over, push this out, replace it. And as long as the plate's not broken, then you can reuse it. Anyway, back to these guys. So, um, I'm using actual anti seize lube. They sell this at the hardware stores. Um, assuming hardware stores, car shops, you can tell this is old as crap because he uses it all the time. Um, also, you could, if you don't have access to actual anti seize, you can use um, white lithium grease. Yes, white lithium grease because my brain is processing slower. So, um, you really both greases you don't use a lot because it's basically like making a s'more as soon as you start screwing it in all the marshmallow is going to come out the sides so you just want to use a very very small amount this <laughs> is very disgusting and clumpy so i'm just going to like barely touch the edges up here oh god it's already on here um you don't need a whole lot like i said it also gets everywhere so make sure you have paper towels and don't touch your skates don't do that. Um, so I'm going to wipe off some access here. And if you want to just kind of push it around. Oh, is this bad for your skin? Probably. This is why I don't do car stuff. So you can see I put it all over the toe stop. Try not to do that. Do better than me. Um, but it doesn't help that it's all over this container. And I'm just pushing it everywhere. So... Before you touch the skate, really wipe your hands down. So you be really careful. Um, if you have ever stripped a plate, then you end up being really kind of paranoid about getting this in there. So here we go. Goes in really easily. 
And there you go. And all I have to do is tighten the toe stop. Um, again, if you end up cross threading a plate, you can get a tap and die set. So, uh, luckily with the plate that, that I stripped before when my husband took it off with a pipe wrench, um, for the most part, the toe stop was intact and the plate was, had minimal damage. But when he was looking for his tap and dies, he couldn't find one in his set that would fit my, um, my skates. So he ended up finding this, um, this set online. This is the toe stop size. It's five eighths. Um, this would be to rethread in the plate and this would be to rethread, say, the toe stop. Um, so I was able to reuse the toe stop after it was like, you know, messed up. So all I have to do is, uh, get it in there. It's also good if like you have some messed up threads and you just need to clean it out. But this is one of those things I would not suggest doing it often because some people will use an all-in-one tool. Um, you can get these from any like skateboard shop for axles, which is cool because skateboarders, you know, they'll, they beat the crap out of their stuff. So sometimes they need to rethread the axle. But every time you rethread, you're taking away material from the axle or the bolt or whatever you're you're rethreading. So you're going to have wiggle space. Also, cross thread the actual bolt and create a whole new channel of what do you call these ridges. And when you do that, you're taking away even more material. So you don't want to rethread too often, or you're just gonna this is not going to fit right. It's going to wiggle. It's going to sit in there and just be like, blah, blah, blah. and even if you're tightening it, um, a plate like this doesn't require um, a tightening bolt. It has a tightening mechanism here with the Allen. It, you can't see, it's hard to see. It's got like an Allen bolt. So with an Allen wrench, I tighten this and it basically pinches this closed. But basically, don't try to re-thread things if you, feel, if you don't feel confident doing it. Because that's why I always give this to my husband to do because I always try to start it out and I miss and then I'm like I just screwed it up and took out too much material but anyway it's always a good idea to do an anti-seize on any kind of toe stop jam plug whatever it's a good practice um, just so you don't ever have to face the sadness of cross-threading your plates <laughs>